Hello everyone. Now we are going to learn conditional formattings. So there are a different way to do the conditional formattings. One is label conditional formattings and then cell conditional formattings. Then we can do the calculations conditional formattings. Then multicolor conditional formattings. Then top five and bottom five conditional formattings. Then using the set how we can do the top five and bottom five conditional formattings. Then the chart conditional formattings. So let's see how we can get the labels conditional formatting. So here we have some category and let me make it this entire view and we have year and the segment. Now we wanted to see this based on the profit. So let me try get this. So here we wanted to see the profit whichever is the positive it should show as the green color whichever is negative it should show the red color. So what we generally do, we drag the profit sections into the color. But as I said, I only wanted two colors. One is the red and green. I will select here red and green. But I can see here it's giving me the multicolors. So here we have the step colors. So in the step colors, select here these two colors and click on OK. And now here you have all the negative values. So here you can also define the center section so as it is defined as a zero let's say if we have defined let's say less than thousand is also coming into the red zone so you can see whichever is less than thousand is coming into the red so here we can define the center place this is label conditional formatting in the same way we can define so let me just make it order date and then segment and here we have the profit we want it to highlight the individual sales so we need to take profit drag into the color section and make it this square and again here i want it it should be highlighted profit as a green and negative as a red so again i will select here green and red and i will take it as a step two if we wanted to see the uh, the sales then we have to do the formatting just right click on this format go to the label and here row wise and the column wise give here row wise and the column wise give it the line yeah so now we can easily identify what is the sales so and if you wanted to centralize the alignment you can alignment you can do the centralize and if you wanted to increase the size of the font you can increase the size of the font as well now third one is conditional formatting based on the entire view order date and then we have the segment yeah so again here we wanted to do the conditional formatting but not as we have done here as a label wise so here it is the simplest way to do the conditional formatting let's say if we have some conditions where we can give some range and out here if we define the profit range let's say less than zero is the negative uh, profit from zero to zero to 500 it's uh, a low profit from 500 to let's say a 3000 it's having a average profit and more than 3000 it is the high profit so let's say how we can define that and how we can do the calculations so let's go ahead with the calculations so here i will give profit conditional formatting so here we will write it if statement if sum of profit is less than zero then it is a negative profit else if sum of profit is greater than equals to zero and sum of profit 
is less than equals to 500 then it is low profit and save sum of profit is greater than equals to 500 I will just remove here equals to and sum of profit is less than 3000 then it is average profit else sum of profit is greater than equals to 3000 then so this is again else if sum of profit greater than equals to 3000 then it should be high profit and end so this is how we can create the conditional formatting and then drag this into the color section and let me define here negative it is red low it is orange average it is blue high it is green and if you want this you can also define in such a way So this is how you can uh, create the conditional formattings. So now let's see multicolor conditional formatting. So we will take it subcategory. Now here we need to create one calculated field, which is zero. Just define zero, and here one more cal calculated field one and define one. Drag this zero or the one, anything is fine. And now here define the sales. Right click on the axis, go to the axis and make it this trick as a none. The general fix this, make it as a one. And whatever the value you wanted to drag, let's say sales, give it here. The header name as a sales and now here drag the sales value similarly you can again drag same field and right click here access general like this as a one title give it as a profit I can able to see here as a profit or you can want it to give and the second one drag here profit number and the profit into the color so similarly you can uh, define here the different you know uh, the colors color wise you can define the multicolor conditional formatting so quantity and then make it this none and none and here we are quantity drag the quantity into the quantity section as a color and quantity as a denim and if you wanted to change uh, the different color format you can change the different color format so let's say this i'm giving for the sales and let me drag let me select something uh, a different one for 
quantity. Let me select the different one for the quantity. Let's say this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how we can uh, define the multi-level color formatting. And in this color formatting, if you wanted to uh, use uh, the conditional formatting which we created based on the calculations, right? So this also you can drag it. So let me for the third one we have made it as a profit. So let me drag it in the third section. So you can able to see. Right. So this is how you can uh, able to do the coloring and the conditional formatting so you can implement based on the conditions as well. So now we wanted to see top 5 and the bottom 5 using the conditional formatting. So this we are going to resolve using the calculations and the second one which is top 5 and bottom 5 condition formatting which we are going to resolve using the set. So let's see based on the calculations. So here I will take it the subcategory and we will check profit. Make it this sorting. Now here we will create one calculated field called index. Just write it index. Apply and OK. So index, if you see the index, uh, let me make it this discrete. So you can see the index. So whichever the highest values are there. So based on that, it will give the index. Okay. So we have to see from top five and the bottom five. So bottom five is last and use the last function. So based on this, we will able to see the last. So let me just try it here I'm just showing you so you can able to make it discrete so you can see it is starting from 0 to 7 16 and if we see the index index coming from 1 to 17 yeah so we have created top and the bottom so let's create one calculated field which is top I'm just giving top five. So this we can give index calculations which we created is less than five. Less than equals to five. Apply OK. Apply OK. Let's see what output it gives. So we can see here true value we can able to see here we have to give the equals to as well yeah so now one two three four five and let's say similarly we can create for the last five so last function less than equals to five apply okay Let's see. So here we can able to see bottom five. So I think I want to make it this and remove this equals to apply. Okay. So here we have five bottom and top bottom. Right. So what we can do either way you can just hold this board together and drag it here. So, you can able to see here, right, either this way you can do it or you can create one more calculated field which is top 5 and bottom 5. So, what you can give here, you can give here top 5 or Or last 
5. Just click on apply. Okay, just remove this two and drag here top five and the bottom five. Right, so this is how you can do it using the calculated fields. Now, out here, we can also automate this using the set. So, let's see how we can design this using the set. Again, we will take it as a subcategory make it this entire view, drag the profit and make it the descending as a sorting. Now here we can create set based on top 5 sum of profit. So I will give it here. Top five sub category. Click on OK. So here we have top five sub category. So similarly, I will create one more which is instead of top, I will select bottom, bottom five based on the profit. So I will give it here bottom five subcategory. Click on OK. So now we have top five category and bottom five category. So if I drag it here, I can able to see here so these are the five categories is coming under the bottom five so what we will do here we can combine this category so how we can combine this just right click on this create combined set so here give it here top five sorry bottom five and the top five this i can give the name as top five and bottom five click on okay so now let's see what output it's giving so either way i can i can able to see here so again i can drag it here uh top five subcategory and bottom five subcategory into the color now i can able to see if i wanted to exclude this i can just simply drag uh, the combinations combination set which we created and we can able to see here in our top and we can also so here we can able to see the top five categories and the bottom five subcategories so if you wanted to give here the alias name we can also change the alias name of uh, of this charts let me just check it yeah so i can give here top five alias bottom five so this is how you can able to give the top and bottom conditions using the conditional formatting now we have chart conditional formatting so in the chart conditional formatting definitely we will be required zero and one and based on this we are going to create a multiple way of designing so let's drag here subcategory make it this entire view drag here profit and give here profit as a color also you can you can also give the 
so marks labels now second field i wanted to take it sales so sales i wanted as a highlight table so for getting that we have to create the the dual things we need to create and make it this as a 12 access maybe the first one i need to make it as a bar yeah now here first this will remain the same and this we will take it and seals and instead of circle select this as a text and instead of this as a circle select here Gant bar and here you drag one into the size and here you need to drag the sales into the label okay and make it this as a alignment as a central alignment and now here you have you can just Keep the board so that it is visible for you and if you wanted to change the color format you can change the color format from here and now the third thing which I wanted is conditional formatting based on the different shape wise so let's say how we can define that so before going to that uh, I also wanted to highlight here one more thing which is in the profit sections we can able to see here the bars and the labels are coming outside but i wanted this label should go inside so let's define how we can define here different shapes based on the values so what i wanted i wanted here uh, the numbers as well as the different shapes so let's see how we can design that so first of all you need to Drag here sum of one and sum of this. Make it this dual axis. Now, first one select this as a can chat. Select this as a text. Second one select as a saves. Now, in this saves, select this conditional formatting which we created, drag it into the save and here drag the profit into the color section drag profit and this conditional formatting into the color section and here drag the label as a profit and you need to define one of the field Either way you can define here okay and if you wanted to define this as a central and left side and let's say if you are increasing uh, the size so let's define here for for the average profit it will give as a blue high profit it will be red low profit it will be for average let's say yeah and we can increase here yeah yeah so this is how you can uh, able to define the different conditional formatting inside the tableau